Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today, we are going to be starting the second half of our 100 Days of Logic. I know we're not quite halfway, but we finished propositional logic a little bit early. This is going to be another kind of logic. It's known as categorical logic. In this first video, we're just going to be covering the basics of what categorical logic is and where it can be used. So, with propositional logic, we had a lot of rules that let us prove the validity of a lot of different arguments, but we were still unable to prove the validity of such arguments as the following. All men are mortal, Socrates is a man, therefore Socrates is mortal. This is a really classic argument, but we don't have any disjunctions, conjunctions, if-thens, equivalences, or negations in this argument. There's nothing we can do with the tools we've been given in propositional logic. However, it's clearly a valid argument, so we need to be able to, with some rules of logic, show that it's valid. That's where categorical logic comes into play. As we said earlier, categorical logic is logic dealing with subjects and predicates. It's kind of the micro-logic if propositional logic is the macro-logic, and it looks kind of like this. You will understand those diagrams oh so soon. So, first off, we're going to be doing some vocabulary. We're going to talk about what quantifiers and copula are, then universal, particular, affirmative, and negative, and then we will get to the four major forms of categorical propositions A, E, I, and O. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.